In this part, you have to discuss outbreeding devices which prevent in our textbook only they given heading outbreeding devices as we know the most of the plants bears bisexual flowers that even we use word hermaphrodite actually word hermaphrodite we used for representation of animal sex but if both male and female sex organs or if both male and female reproductive parts present in single organism such organisms are called bisexual or hermaphrodite on that base we can derive bisexual flowers means here male reproductive part that already we know a androsium and female reproductive part that what we call gynesium if present in single flower such flower is called bisexual flower or we may define in another way also if male gamete and female gamete produced by single flower we call bisexual flower in contrast with the bisexual flower we have one more term unisexual flower the flower having either male reproductive part or female reproductive part that we called a unisexual flower 90% of the animals are uh, plants are bearing bisexual flower unisexual flower we may also define the flower having capacity to produce male gamete or female gamete is called unisexual flower in most of the flowering plants the plants bears only bisexual flowers very rarely we have unisexual flower once again in unisexual flower we have a two types one is staminate flower another one pistillate flower very simple meaning is there if flower possess stamens we call staminate flower if flower possess 
pistil we called pistillate flower mainly once again unisexual bearing plants based on sex we classified once again monoecious plants and dioecious plants in monoecious plants both male and female flowers born on same plant suppose you take coconut fair in a plant single plant we have both male flower we call staminate flower female flower pistillate flower therefore coconut plant is a best example for monoecious plant if male and female flowers born on two different plants of same species we called dioecious plant you take for example papaya in case of papaya male flowers are born on male plant female flowers are born on female plant here one question is majority of the angiosperms bears a bisexual flower suppose in bisexual flower both male and female gametes are available in single plant if pollination is take place within a flower that what is called autogamy if a continuous autogamy or self pollination is take place there is a existence of inbreeding depression that means the viability of fruit viability of seed will be reduced the genetic makeup of that organism will be become weaker and weaker to avoid that one most of the bisexual flower bearing plants having a specialized outbreeding devices you don't confuse that word outbreeding devices outbreeding means it's a cross pollination cross breeding or that we also call xenogamy outbreeding devices helps for cross pollination favors the cross pollination and prevent autogamy or self pollination and we are to discuss what are the different types of outbreeding devices developed by the flowering plants as we know most of the angiosperms bears bisexual flower that means both male and female gametes available in same flower as a uh, result there is a chance of autogamy or self pollination but to avoid the inbreeding depression pewer line continuation generally most of the bisexual flowers having different outbreeding devices they includes first one dichogamy second one unisexuality third one self incompatibility fourth one heterostyly fifth one physical barrier if you consider first term the dichogamy the dichogamy is a condition maturation of male reproductive part or male gamete and maturation of female reproductive part or female gamete at a different interval means at a different time suppose if we consider a two important terms here one is protandry protogyny in protandry the male gamete produce first later female gamete in protogyny female gamete produce first and later the male gamete proto refers to first andros refers to male here 
male gamete produce first or endosium mature first protogyne means proto refers to proto refers to first gynous refers to gynation female reproductive part where female gamete produce first if suppose protogyne is take place in a flower at that time anthers are matured pollen grains are undergo a release through the dehiscence they will transfer to the a female flower of or the other flower where protogyne is there in protogyne condition female gametes are produced gynation matured where in that flower there is no pollen grains are produced at hence they have to issue pollen grain from the protoandrous flower hence during this process the protoandrous flower transfer their pollen grain to the another flower which showing protogyny as a result in a dicogamy condition no chance of what self pollination there is chance of outbreeding outbreeding refers to cross pollination second one unisexuality that means the plants bears uh, only a either uh, or single what is say sex is represented either male or female if uh, the male reproductive part is there in a flower such flower is called staminate flower that means they having stamens they are units of a androecium the female flower having pistil therefore that also called the name pistillate flower where gynaecium or pistil is there no stamens are androecium that indicates here compulsory from staminate flower to pistillate flower pollen grain has to be take place or transferred therefore the here compulsory a outbreeding device they play a very important role for the cross pollination but not self pollination but uh, one uh, complex city is there there are two groups of plants are there in a unisexual bearing plants one is monoecious plant another one dioecious plants monoecious plants are one they bear both male and female flowers on a single plant that means the plants having both male and female flowers in a monoecious plant for example coconut where we can prevent autogamy that means self pollination but not prevent zygotogamy you know zygotogamy means it is transfer of pollen grain from anther of one flower to stigma of another flower born on same plant whereas in a dioecious plant both male and female flowers are born on two different plants like a papaya as a result in this case we can prevent both autogamy as well as a zygotogamy only in a dioecious plant compulsory there is a what outbreeding process we called cross pollination or zygotogamy or allogamy third outbreeding device is self incompatibility here you have to get a meaning of three important concepts if any a foreign pollen grain transfer to the a particular flower stigma that we called in simple way wrong pollen grain meaning of wrong pollen grain means other species other plant species pollen grain if dusted on a flower at that time that pollen grain may not germinate this process is called 
incompatibility means here that pollen grain is not matched with a particular a flowering plant species suppose if the pollen grain may transfer from their own a flower or another flower which is belongs to same species that is we called own type or in other words a right type or in other words it is the right type of sorry at that time here pollen grain may germinate this process is called compatibility that means always pollen grain on a stigma germinates only if the pollen grains of their own species but in most of the plants if pollen grain transfer from anther to stigma of same flower that process what you call the name self incompatibility where there is no chance of germination of that pollen tube on the stigma that process is called self incompatibility as a result what happens always pollen grain transfer from anther of one flower to stigma of another flower for on two different plants belongs to same species that process what you call compatibility self incompatibility prevent the what the special autogamy favor the outbreeding process or cross pollination then third one heterostyry here what happens height of the a stigma as well as the specially height of the stamen remain not on same level in most of the flowering plants the specially height of the stigma is high and uh, as compared to the the stamen height as a result there is no chance of what self pollination cross pollination is the rule the last one physical barrier there are certain plants adopted physical barrier to carry their own pollen grain to own stigma cross pollination is take place for example you take in case of kenotropis there is a bag like structure is there its name is called pollinia in that pollinia pollen grains are present they are hang to every corners of anther row and they will not transfer to their own a flower because they should be compulsory carried by some insect because this pollinia having small ring like structure that ring like structure helps to adhere to the what bristles of insect and it is carried to the another flower of the same species hence physical barrier also helps for cross pollination and prevent autogamy in such a way the five important structural adaptations we see in case of flower one is dichogamy maturation of male and female reproductive part at two different uh, unisexual flowers self incompatibility heterostyry and physical barrier they helps for a cross pollination prevent autogamy